Good evening. Welcome to the sharing session on the underwater ROV. My name is Wei Liang and I'm from FTX Global. I'll be bringing you through some of the key features of the ROV today. First, let's talk about uh, a little bit about our company, the industry pain points today, and we'll dive into the M2 Pro features. And then lastly, a use case, which is the how inspection. FTX Global is a robotic solutions company based out in Singapore and Malaysia, and we serve Southeast Asia. So we provide end-to-end -end robotic services with a key focus on industrial applications. Our goal is to provide professional, customer-centric solutions so that it will help you lower costs and improve efficiency. So under our company, we have both drones and underwater ROV. And today I'll be focusing on the underwater ROV. Now the problem today with the underwater inspection is that there is a long wait time because uh, divers need time to prepare. And also diving costs has increased over the years, largely driven by manpower constraint, manpower inability, and also regulatory uh, changes that requires more manpower because of safety issues. And also because recently there is many high profile uh, diving accidents uh, evolving uh, in certain cases, even the lives of the divers. Uh, so uh, in Singapore, there's also issue of the murky water uh, and divers might have poor visibility in finding the target and also the limited diving time, again, uh, due to regulatory issues and also physical limit of the diver itself. Now the chasing M2 Pro uh, is a really easy to use ROV. It's quite small, probably just slightly bigger than a shoebox. Uh, it is made for one man operation uh, with the latest 700 watt hour battery you can actually dive for up to five hours and the maximum depth of 150 meters. So it's way deeper than any of the anchorages in this region. Uh, a fast deployment, so it, as fast as five minutes you will be able to get the ROV into the water and start your inspection. And the last part, which is the most important part, which is the expandability portion. So you can add on different attachment to suit your mission profile. And it also allows you to invest only what you need and not have to pay a high price for uh, over spec ROV, right? Now let's look at some of the popular accessories. One, you have the multi-beam sonar. So this is the 3D sonar uh, that is uh, mounted on top of the ROV. And this allows you to see objects uh, even if the water visibility is not clear. Then you have the laser scaler, which is basically two laser pointer, 10 cm apart. And this allows you to uh, estimate the length of the cracks that you're looking at because you can proportion to these 10 cm uh, laser dots. You can even put on an AC power supply. So uh, have an AC uh, power either from the boat or power bank and have the ROV dive for unlimited amount of time. You can put on a gravel uh, claw on the ROV, which allows clamping, dragging, or even collection of soils or water samples during your dive. Now the AC power supply uh, plugs into the uh, control box and this control box actually supplies then the power down to the ROV itself. The two accessories, sonar and USB-L, uh, underwater positioning attached to a docking station. So the docking station can hold many different accessories. And these are just the two accessories that you can attach to the docking station. Now the UBSL uh, 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 positioning allows you to see the XY direction of the ROV in real time on the map. So you will know relative to a boat or on the map, where is this ROV even if you can't see it from the surface of the water, right? And so all you need to do is to dangle the, uh, the receiver, the UBSL receiver from the boat and the transmitter of the ROV will be able to send that uh, position uh, data, or rather that position data can be then calculated and displayed on the uh, app itself. Now this sonar again allows you to see objects 
that, that you otherwise would not be able to see uh, because of murky waters. And so this is very good for search and rescue type of mission where you're looking for objects or bodies that's underwater. Uh, and you can see uh, on the right uh, is the uh, tested object and on the left is the corresponding live sonar view of it. Now the control console, it is also something new. And uh, what I like about it is really the 1000 nit screen, uh, which is very bright and allows you to see the uh, video transmission clearly, even in uh, sunlight, in very strong sunlight. It also unfolds into a, a, like a table, it stands up, so it makes it uh, deployment at the back of the boat uh, very easy. Two more accessories. One is the distance lock sonar, which allows you to set a distance that you want the ROV to be from an object. So this is very useful for how inspection. And then the auxiliary light. So the ROV itself comes with already 4,000 lumens of light. And if that is still not enough, you can add on another 12,000 lumens. So here's a video that summarizes uh, what I've just told you and also showcases one of the how inspection use case. Now let's talk about the how inspection application. One of the very useful features I find is that within the app, you can actually select the photos and tag them to a 2D diagram of the, of the boat. This allows you later on when you're back on shore uh, to always know where each photo was taken with respect to the boat and it allows for easy report writing. Also because of the fall in price uh, of underwater inspection, you can now do 
it more frequently. And this more frequent inspection allows earlier detection of problems such as fouling, such as uh, damage uh, to the side of the house. And in the case of fouling, you can then schedule for more precise cleaning only when you need it and not just periodic. And of course, you know, a clean house eventually leads to much better fuel efficiency and lower cost. And for security professionals who conduct inspection underwater uh, for contraband uh, items, or illegal modifications of the ship, you can now use the ROV, which is of course much safer. And of course, we aim to reduce the need for dry docking for just very basic uh, type of inspection. This is especially um, the case for very small vessels because it's so uh, easy to dry dock a small vessel. And so the temptation is always uh, to keep dry docking it yeah, for, for inspection. And so you can do uh, uh, inspection of critical areas such as the propellers, the rudders, uh, even the sea chest uh, and the anchor chain, uh, all when the vessel is in service. There's, there's no need to disrupt your operation. Uh, inspection can just take half an hour or one hour. And it, can be, it can take place while you're doing bunkering or you're just waiting for cargo loading. You don't have to uh, specially cater time for it. And of course, as we know, the, 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 the sea environment is, is, is complex. It's always changing. Uh, current direction is changing. And so with the eight thrusters of the, of the M2 Pro, uh, you get stability even if in that kind of water environment. Uh, and if the, the water is, is too turbid, you can always add in the 12,000 lumen uh, LED light uh, to help you see uh, much better. So in, in summary, uh, really it, it's the uh, cost of time uh, has been dramatically reduced uh, because uh, ROV, like we see, doesn't need to rest. You can keep going. Uh, and also it reduces the cost of diving. And this itself, uh, you know, will, will allow very quick ROI of such equipment. And with the ever expanding uh, accessories that you can add on now, you know, with the uh, sonar, uh, with the UBSL, but more coming, uh, that allows you a much better uh, precise capturing of the data as opposed to just purely image. And of course, lastly, the most important part is always safety. Uh, need not put people at harm's way if there's no need to. Uh, you can use ROV, uh, you know, and to be frank, if anything happens to the ROV, you can write it off. But you know, when it comes to human life, you, you can't really do, do the same. Uh, so that's all we have for you. Uh, you can check us out at www.abepics.com or drop us an email. Be happy to take any questions that you might have.